Hello everybody and welcome to a new LP of Soma. This is the new horror game from Frictional Gaming, the same people who made Amnesia The Dark Descent. Seeing as how I couldn't even get to the end of that game, I'm sure me playing this game will go wonderfully. Ah, <sighs> alright. I'm pretty terrified about what I'm about to face. I just don't do horror very well, so why am I playing this? I'm not really sure. I guess to just torture myself. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Your, your brain? Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. No, it was red. Ashley, what? Huh? I need to tell you something. What's Simon, green? Please don't make this weird. No, like no, it. it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? I'm confused. He's in the car, but he had an accident. And he's driving. Ah, ah. Oh. I was sleeping. Christ. Um. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple somewhere. of hours. Somewhere. Okay, see you soon. Great, so I have brain damage. That's reassuring. All right, Wasties, pretty standard. Do I have a message? Uh, Where did I put the tracer fluid? Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Love you, miss you, mean it. I even sent an email to remind him, oh. didn't I? Ha! Don't like you, milk. Fast hey, food. Pizza. I buy something healthier on my way home. Press R. And oh, okay, that's cool. I assume that's gonna come into puzzle solving later on. I come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? I'm gonna get my keys. Letter. Uh, can I open it? Hey, this guy's from Canada, like me, except for he lives in Toronto. Um, I can't open it? Okay. I can look at my letter, but just not read it. Hey, laptop. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munshee. Uh, from Dr. Aaron Peake about a new prescription. Dear Mr. Jared, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. That- wow. Is that real? Like, can someone actually be bleeding from their brain and just be fine? Well, not heat, obviously not fine, but you know, just live normally. Oh, I forgot to normally. hit send. Uh, Jesse the Grimoire. Hi Jesse, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Yes. 
Better can I late than never. Can I actually like open? No, that kind of looks like a uh, Photoshop. So for its excellency. Uh, let's see. I don't know what this means. Oh, I'm sad. Get well soon. Love, mom. Aw. Thanks, mom. If somebody cares about me. Holding an object to move it closer or further. Oh, that's useful. Grimoire. Book signing. I know this is kind of like a slow start here, but I want to make sure I get everything. I want to know everything about this guy. Okay. And you know, I like to see the little details in games. Little things that people... A lot of people just don't really seem to care about. But they're in the game. Alright, where's the stupid tracer fluid? <laughs> nope, just pajamas. Can I... Oh! <gasps> Summer's coming. I hope it's a good one. I can open the curtains. Okay, why is there a occupied and not occupied lock on my washroom in my home? Like, is someone really going to be... Oh, I can't pull the toilet paper out. But is someone really going to check whether I'm in the toilet or not? Is it in the bathroom somewhere? It's possible, right? Ew. What the... Why is there, like, bloody rags in your bathroom, dude? Oh, probably because his brain bleeds. Okay. So, different reason from what I had in mind. I know. You guys probably don't really want to know what was in my mind. Though, most of you can guess. Am I just missing something really obvious? Oh, wait. Maybe it's in my drawers. Downtown accident kills young woman. Mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. Ashley Hall sustained devastating damage. Blood trapped in her lungs before ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived, but with complicated results, believing to leave him with permanent brain damage. Oh. Damn. Oh, that's... That's pretty horrible. That's probably what my dream was about. I think I know what it looks like. It was the bottle that was in my dream, right? Oh, maybe it's in my cabinet. There it is. Oh, duh. Great. Look, look, look. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. <laughs> Apparently this cabinet doesn't open. But it just rattles. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's just make a mess of my apartment before going out. Wow, I can actually... Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Yeah, she's... She's doing her any favors she's by leaving dead. an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. Thanks. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. So reassuring. This guy's creepy. So it's this long train ride really necessary? I can't get up, by the way. 
At least, I don't think. Great. Hello? Dr. Munchie? This looks great. A light switch. Let's turn that on, shall we? Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Yeah, really. Hello, doctors. Anyone? Why is this place so messy? Uh, okay. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Uh, hi, Paul. Talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use the computers to run models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We would do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Uh, I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code changes, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Uh, well, I sure hope you left that note. How did I get in here? If I don't have the code. Uh, let's see... Moment of tweak for right length. Uh... Is that a 2501? I don't know. Is that important? I have no idea. What is this? Trial and error! Okay... Oh, it's Dr. Munshi. Okay, apparently I can't slot that into the PC or something. I can't believe I just used the word PC. The hell says that? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Let me guess this the place, right? It must be. Oh, I'm gonna call David Munchie. Let's just call Munchie real quick. Great. Had his phone turned off. Of course okay. he does. I can figure this out. Is it the code that I just saw over there? Mm, two, five, oh, one. Yeah. Oh, you are so smart. Why are you telling me how to run? I don't like it when I have to run, okay? Because that just means bad things are about to happen. Okay, I can't even read that, it's so blurry. Hopefully I won't be needing the first aid kit, but you know. Hello? Anybody in here? Or am I just all alone in this damn place? This looks promising. Jaws. And a giant needle. Holy! I would not want to get stabbed with that. Ah! Finally, a human being. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie. Mr. But I'm working on it. Actually, you're helping me right now. You're not a real Is doctor? This part of your thesis work? I'm out of yeah. here. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. So I'm oh, a guinea pig. Did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start when oh, you're ready. Oh, this is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? Great. I have to get strapped into this thing. That's not horrifying at all. 
All right, Munchie. My life is in your hands. Oh, God. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheeks? Doesn't seem right. What have you done, Munchie? What happened? Hello? <sighs> Mr. Munchie? All right. We have now officially started. The Did something go wrong? horror part of this game, I think. Oh god. Why? Why am I playing this, please? This isn't funny. Ah! Huh? What is this place? How did I get here? Oh god. I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. <laughs> Jump over the freaking bench, please. No need to make things worse. <sighs> okay, well, while we're relatively safe, I think I will cut the video off and I will start up again in just a moment.